Welcome back to MCOC Al Bundy Rules. Going to show you a quick little bit on what Beast can do. See some great damage there, right there. Very underrated damage, underrated utility as well. Giving you a quick little bit of highlights on what he can do before we get into the actual tutorial on how to mimic some of what I'm doing right here. But has a lot more uses than most people give him credit to. Very underrated damage. Just need to use him correctly. He has a very different use style. You kind of jump between his stances, his modes can do power control, he can do healing himself, stack bleeds, a lot of good stuff. Let's start with freestyle mode. So you start there when you have half health or higher, you got freestyle mode. Gives you inflict the bleed over four seconds. So watching the timer over there, you need the signature ability. So he does rely heavily on awakening to be this good. So five hit combos, watching the timer, you see how it goes up for each one. It's medium, light, 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 medium. On the fifth one, it will show successful if you complete it. If you fail, you got to wait five seconds. Watch the timer. You want to stop the combo. You want to stop hitting while the timer resets. Otherwise, you're going to fail. you got to wait five seconds. So you see the success there. So watching that timer, even if you got two, three hits, stop while the timer resets. S1, the special one, is going to switch to freestyle mode. So you're going to jump back and forth between these modes if you're using him to his best potential. S1 switches back to their acrobatic mode. You will start on this mode when you're at half health or less in the fight. This is what gives you some regeneration. You see some healing going in when I do the combos. You will see the health go up. It's also great power control. But watch with each hit. Look at those numbers go up. I get some regeneration back. This is also five actions, but it's only four hits. You It only starts block is the first one then it's medium light light medium so the second medium is the fifth action so again block medium light light medium and you see the success once we properly complete that that allows for your regeneration and power control while you're doing that Again, if you fail, you got to wait five seconds to try again. S2 switches to acrobatic mode. So you want to be an acrobatic when you need a heal or power control. S1 when you want to stack bleeds to do more damage. S1 gets you to freestyle mode. It also can give you a 55% chance for a stun. This allows you to push this freestyle. So whenever you don't need the regeneration or power control, you want to stack bleeds, you probably want to stay, you switch, use the S1 to stay in this mode. We'll see he has some increased bleed efficiency as well. Special two is when you need to get some survival mode. So it's a higher percent chance for a stun, longer stun. It also gives you regeneration going on. also controls the power. So whenever you need some health, whenever you need to control power, you want to use that S2 to be in here. It's an acrobatic form. And it's you can see the health go up little by little. You do several combos, your health will go up significantly. You see it go up a few percent for one combo. Special 3, you get that extra perk hit for the combo meter up to a maximum of 150% total increase. However, the big part of this is with the synergy. You can get a, you get a Fury here. If you have Elsa in your team, you can keep this Fury unlimited for the rest of the fight as long as you don't get hit. If you get hit, just do another S3. So we saw it activate. Now we're going to see it activate again in this next fight. As long as you don't get hit, it stays, and that is the key to getting some of his significant damage. So doing that Fury buff with Elsa. He's still good without her, but he's a lot better with Elsa. Just hold your combo. If you lose it, then just do another S3. Here's some synergies. First couple, nothing special. Mastermind is a good one. Give you extra attack. And also Mutant Agenda, extra special attack. The one with Elsa in the bottom right corner is a big key, like I said, to keep that Fury buff and then hold your combo. Tip one for using is practice switching between modes. All right, depending on what you need. Again, if you need, if you want to maximize the bleed damage or if you want to do regeneration and power control you want to maximize damage s1 if you want to maximize regeneration power control s2 so switch out of acrobatic mode when you don't need health or power control so bouncing back and forth is a big key based on what you need right there tip two is watch the combo timer Sometimes people just finally keep doing five hit combos. You're going to fail a lot of combos if you do that. You're not going to maximize. Watch the timer. It's getting close to the end. So I back off. I wait for it to reset. If I continued my combo, I would have the combo meter would have started. I would have failed. I would have had to wait five seconds and not properly using B. So again, timer is about to stop. I wait. I back off. And now I can do my combo. So that's a big key with using Beast correctly and maximize them. you got to watch the timer. Tip three, when using the Elsa Synergy, use S3 early in the fight to get the Fury. And just keep it going at that point in time. Again, if you lose that Synergy, if you lose um, your combo, 
and you lose the Fury, just do another S3, but that is what's going to lead to a lot of damage. Maximizing these three tips I am showing you is going to get Beast doing a lot for you, and you will see some decent hits on the combo. This is just an R1 6 star, nothing too high, and also a, a low 20 sig, just a one-time dupe, and he's able to do some pretty good stuff there. I hope this found this tutorial helpful. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click top left icon and subscribe and watch some more videos. Thanks so much for watching.